not technology that we know, but the technology that is around, is surrounding us, this open innovation concept, and what is viable in the marketplace. Clinicians, scared delivery systems, reliability, they have to really have a, a reliable on, on the technology and the, on the device that they have. And they can work also with us in improving medical science because they are the ones that are in touch with the patients. Administration, first thing they are always asking us is cost effective. Has been mentioned the, the pro commercial procurement. It has to be cost effective. If not, it's probably we're not going to have anything. The requirements, they have put, they put the, the legal, the legal ones, and of course, before any improvements, it has to be safety, it has to be demonstrated that it's working. Academia, Manuel, Manuel, Manuel has mentioned before, how many publications can I get? In Spain and many countries, it's the first thing that academies measure. How many publications do you have? How many patents do you have? That, that leaves us that, what do you mean viable in the marketplace? Normally, if they are measured for the publications and the, and, and the patents, they are not looking about the viability of the marketplace of the idea. And again, it's, you, you can have 100 patents, but if no patent is in the marketplace, they are not worth. It's just only for your CV. And could be also another one. Will I, will, have, will I have funds for developing research and development lines in my, in my interest? I don't mind if not viable in the market. I just want to, prefer, to be the best one in, in nanogels. Which kind of nanogels? How can they apply? Are they available in the market? Is there able to use this? Is something expecting to, to, to use it? So industry has to be working here and, lead and making all these people together uh, talking and working. So again, we will, be, we will start in the continuous innovation loop, which will be related to the innovation, uh, open innovation concepts when I'm going to, to discuss about doing an assessment, identifying people, training people, and skill people, strategic process, technical, tactical processes, and operational processes. This is the, the, the normal continuous, the innovation wheel that has been discussed, and many of you probably will know. What is industry looking for right now? Probably with uh, technology transfer, looking for the technology transfer. So there has to be some infrastructure for technology transfer that links this basic research that is doing in research centers and universities, doing the match with the market demand, bring them to the market, and it, uh, having some mechanism to identify this infrastructure for technology transfer. And this is where industry has to focus right now. And for example, in our sector, this is where we are focused or identifying these infrastructures and creating these infrastructures for the technology transfer that can come from a research center, from a university, from a hospital, from anywhere. We are open. We are open. And we have to be open to these things. So what means innovation for an industry? Solve business or technical problems. Creating a groundbreaking strategy for developing a new technology or using a technology for the creation of a new one create higher level of performance that previously available, that could be innovation. Introducing a new technology to market, that means increasing our revenue or profit. Product innovation that is practical and supports the brand position. It has to be anything new, it has to be also uh, an innovation or just an enhancement of something that exists. But how could we improve the process? Better linking, the research and development investment, implementation decisions, reduce time frame from research development to operational service. You know, sometimes uh, fr time framework between academia and industry is completely different. Industry is thinking about three months, academia is looking up two years. Don't, don't matter. So we have to try to, to reduce this time frame and probably working from the beginning with them and trying to get this balance. And I know it's different, it's very difficult to do it, and, and we are putting all the efforts in trying to get this balance. What does industry face? For example, in the medical one, legislation is always seen as an obstacle to innovation. It's very restrictive. You have to go through so many agencies, at national level or regional level, then you have to go to European level, then you have to go to the FDA, and if some of these steps something fails, you have to do it again the process. And sometimes this discourages people to, to the innovation. So we have this 
competitive environment, this strategic orientation, and this innovation characteristics. I'm not going to stop, to stop just explaining every, all of them. I have to, you have the presentation in the in the institute, so I will be happy if something someone demands just to circulate it, or you can ask Dr. Joan, <laughs> Dr. Ricardo Pujol just for delivering you the presentation. But this is like some reflection, some thoughts that I made that probably some of them are quite aligned with what these people right now think thinking or concern. So, what will be my conclusion? It's very, it's very simple. This is the conclusion. We are driving a lorry that is taking us anywhere because we have an industry that doesn't want to hear what academia has to say. We have an academia that doesn't see what industry is demanding there. And sometimes we have public bodies they, didn't do, they don't do and they don't see anything about why don't you work together. And this is not in Spain, this is everywhere. Some countries are, have working before, some of the states or northern, northern European countries, but the real situation is that these people is not working together and not talking, and sometimes people just discuss and don't put the infrastructures or the structures needed just to foster industry talking with the academia. And just to end, this is my last presentation, so I have to, I have to, to adjust to the, to the time. These are two quotes from one of my favorite economists, which is Peti, uh, was Peter Ferdinand Drucker, probably you know. He's, like, he's considered the father of the open innovation concept. He's like a guru. One, is the, which is more related to the, to the entrepreneurs, to the companies, which is innovation is the specific instrument of entrepreneurship. The act that endows resources with a new capacity to create wealth. But innovation... Well defined and in strategy means money to a company, but why a company has to innovate to be more profitable. And the other one, which is one of my favorite quotes, is that the real test of an innovation is not this novelty or science behind. This will be related to the publications and the patent. It's the market acceptation of success. If you don't have the acceptation of the success, it doesn't matter how clever the company has been or how clever the university or the academy has been. It's not worth anything. So thank you very much for your attention. I will this is my, my contact later.